Are you a people pleaser and have a hard time saying no? Stick with me for the next couple of minutes because I'm going to teach you something that is going to make you stop being that people pleaser and get some control over your life. Hi, thank you for tuning in. Blessings, love and light to all of you. My name's Christina. I am a Reiki practitioner, master, as well as a psychotherapist, and I've been assisting clients on their healing journey for over 25 years now. So, um, people pleasing, let's talk about PPs. Okay. If you're a PP, I was a PP. Um, I actually was watching an Oprah show one day, and this is going way back. And I knew I was a people pleaser and I didn't like it. And I couldn't say no. And then if I said yes, but I really said no, and then I went somewhere and I was with someone, they kind of picked up on the energy that, you know, I wasn't like fully present because I said yes, but I really wanted to say no. And I just didn't know how to get out of it. So one day I was watching the Oprah show and she, believe it or not, was also a people pleaser as well, which really surprised me. Um, but nonetheless, she said that's what she was. And she had a mentor at the time. And that mentor said to her, if you want to stop being a people pleaser, you don't necessarily have to say the word no, but what you can do is say, I need 24 hours to sleep on that. And I'll get back to you. When I heard that, oh my God, I grabbed my journal. I grabbed a pen and I wrote it down. So the next time someone asked me a question and I immediately wanted to say, yeah, sure, I'll do it. All of a sudden in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, let's try this. And it was hard at first because our first reaction as a PP is to immediately want to say yes. So we programmed ourselves. So we want to deprogram ourselves. So I, and to see like, what's their reaction going to be? Cause they're used to me always saying yes. I said to that person, you know what? I need 24 hours and I'll get back to you after that. I need to sleep on this. And you know what the response was? Okay. That gave me 24 hours to honestly assess. Am I able to fit them into my schedule that day? Am I going to be tight for time? Am I going to be able to fully be present for them? Do I really want to go? Does this person bring my energy down? And if they do, maybe I need, when I get together with them, instead of avoiding it, I need to say, hey, can we talk about this for a minute? And here's something that I'm noticing. But that 24 hours gave me the opportunity to stop people pleasing. And it was extremely empowering. So if you want to stop being a people pleaser, it's hard to say no, but instead of saying no, why not say, you know what? Give me 24 hours on that and I'll get back to you. And I guarantee you they're going to say, okay, that is this week's message. All right, let's take a minute. Thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing, sharing. I truly appreciate all of you. Blessings and namaste. May you have a great week. I will be sharing another Kamuna Therapy Ritual to Process Life next Wednesday. But in the meantime, if you want to stop being a people pleaser, instead of saying no, just say, give me 24. All right. Take care. Bye.